Tracy here. I thought I would share with you a card that I had just made. It is going out to a friend for her birthday. And this card took on a whole different look, which I was planning on doing, which happens so many times. And also, everything I did with this card didn't seem to work out the way I wanted to. But it, it looks good in the end. So um, let me tell you what I did and what happened. So the first thing I did was I colored in the image and I colored them colored her in with my Copics and I put her all in brown because the background was going to be totally different but I decided against that because I wanted it to be like a celebrating like a birthday and the background I had was more vintage so I'm like oh no well change it up so that's what I did but this background let me show you what it looked like before the background paper this was the background paper so look at the difference here and here. This is what it looked like and then I inked it with some distress inks and that's what I like about those distress inks as well is because you can change the whole look out of paper um, just by adding a little bit of the ink to it and the reason I did that with this is because it, it just seemed too bright with her brown dress so I got a little bit of uh, a vintage feel in it even though it looks you could tell it's like a party um, card, birthday card. So what I did, like I said, was I stamped her up, I colored her up, and then I used some um, light modeling paste and I added the polka dots with a stencil and I wanted it to look like confetti coming down on her which it kind of did and then I added some color because I thought oh we'll add some color to it and then it was like too much color it didn't look right so what I did was I just went over it again with white and then I thought I would add some um, of the sequins to kind of take away from <laughs> from my kind of mistake because if you look really closely let's see here I don't know if you can notice but some of them are um, a little bit different color like pastels so the sequins kind of take your eye away from that I hope and honestly I think this is the first time I've ever used sequins I know they were popular like not too long ago but I never really got into them but they're cute they turned out nice and then this black paper here I picked this up from our local Target which they are all leaving Canada so I don't know how long they'll be here and when I went shopping and I saw these in the dollar spot funny thing is I didn't have my cheaters with me and I thought this was chalkboard paper so I was like oh cool so I bought this one and then I bought these banners and then at first because on the back it says party so I'm like oh there's only five but that's okay I'll get a couple of them which I did and then as I'm walking to pay for it, I saw it had 18. So I'm like, wow, 18 chalkboard papers in here? Really cool. Until I came home, took it apart, realized it was just cardstock, put my glasses on and read that it was just black cardstock, which I'm fine with. For a dollar, I can't argue at all for 18 pieces of these. So that is what I used for the background. And the thread also came with it. So I cut a piece of thread off and put it in there. And a lot of this has pop dots on on a lot of the dimension and then this here this came from the same paper pack and then the inside I didn't color the paper because this is so white I didn't to be um, colored um, like with the distress ink so I didn't do that and then I used another one of these banners and I just cut a recipe card to fit to write my sentiment and then up here where um, I wrote or I stamped happy birthday to you Again, it was a little mishap, which I knew was going to happen because you can't stamp and get a nice clear stamp when the other side is all bumpy and has so much dimension. So when I stamped it, it wasn't crisp and part of the words were missing. So um, I tried to go over it with a black marker, which wasn't the smartest thing because for one thing, the ink I used was a gray. <laughs> And then I went over with black and you can tell totally the difference and then I thought well I'll go over the whole sentiment well of course my lines didn't match up so I'm like screw this so <laughs> I just took another piece of paper stamped on it and then adhered it on top of there and it looks it looks fine so that is my card and then at the back I always have this heart stamp I always use this heart stamp because I've mentioned it before it reminds me of my daughters and I love hearts and then my friend the friend that is actually receiving this Felaine or as you know her P from Whimsical Endeavors it's her birthday card and she found me this stamp with my name on it at a 
a vintage shop or I think they call them junk shops or something like that. And she found it and she said, oh, I have to get that for her. So, of course, I had to use that on her card. So, there we go. So, I will mail this when I go across the border because um, my husband and I are going to be celebrating our 27th wedding anniversary. And we're staying again at the Bluefin Resort. So, I'm excited about that. And I will get this in the mail when I cross the border. Thank you, everybody, for watching and also for leaving me such sweet comments. And I hope you all have a very creative day today. Bye now. Every second, there's a second chance.